Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Whoa! Hi there, my name's Timmy Joe, making videos about computers on the internet. Today on the program, we're uh, doing a little bit of a uh, budgetary PC build or whatever. I'm going to do actually, uh, I want to do some testing on, this is an FX8150, uh, and I have a really good motherboard for it here. And I was looking online, I couldn't really find any videos of uh, people doing what I'm about to do. So I thought, yeah, just, you know, fire this quick video up on the internet, and then, uh, you know, it'll pertain to some videos coming up down the road. This PC here has uh, an AM3 non-plus CPU in it, a Phenom 2, uh, and it's a quad core, it's like a 90, 90, uh, 945 or something like that, uh, and uh, I want to put this 8 core in it, this uh, actually original bulldozer. Uh, 8150 in that motherboard, but it doesn't support it. In fact, I even tried, and uh, the computer just doesn't boot. It doesn't post. It doesn't even beep. It's kind of weird. I do, however, know that you can put a custom bi well, not a custom, but a BIOS from Asus that allows these high-end motherboards to uh, be used by AM3+. Uh, Plus. So that's what we're going to do here today. Uh, you know, I have this really nice Rampage, or sorry, Crosshair Formula 4, and it's kind of, you know, like overkill for any Phenom quad-core processor. So I'm going to tack on another four cores, and I want to see what kind of performance, uh, you know, you can get out of this motherboard, because it looks like it's a pretty damn cool motherboard. It's, uh, you know, the high end of Asus at the time. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll flip over here. I got the Phenom on. I got a USB key with uh, BIOS. I'll put the name of the BIOS up on the screen right now. There we go. Okay, all I want to do is update the BIOS. So, Easy Flash 2. Crosshair ROM. Check and file. Hell yeah. Loading up the new BIOS. Loading update module. Are you sure you want to update the BIOS? Hell yeah. Not recommended for any AM3s. So we're going to update the BIOS to the uh, BIOS that supports AM3+, Plus, allowing us to put this FX processor on this motherboard. This motherboard has a stupid good VRM. It is meant for overclocking. It has on you know board uh, power switches and stuff like that. It's really uh, an awesome motherboard with some crazy good support. But it's just from a little bit before Bulldozer came out. And, uh, you know, there's, you know, a way to make this work instead of the motherboard I ha I actually got with this which had no heatsink on the VRM we'll see it a little bit later I'm gonna put the phenom in that and make her happen Snap, crack a pop, beep, beep. Are we green? Uh, apparently we are green. Hi. All right, that is the FX uh, 8150 installed on an AM3 motherboard that was never intended or designed. Well, it probably was considered. To have some sort of stuff. I want to know if this will actually be like a good overclocking uh, solution for this. So it's working. Oh, lovely. And the colors are all fixed up. Uh, it's running at 4 gigahertz, it looks like. And temperature, CPU, 29 degrees. Not bad. Let's do a little Cine, Cinebench run. There we go. Cinebench done, run, run, completed. We got a score of uh, 535. Not too great at what four gigahertz max temperature was 42 degrees so I'm gonna do a little overclocking and then uh, we'll just see you know with this cooler how far we can take it just for the fun of the video uh, I have done uh, you know this CPU before so we'll get some results and bang it out and see uh, where the CPU lies because we're gonna do some testing and some budgetary builds and stuff with this particular setup so cute cute up to me Oh, 
Oh, all right. After some troubles updating the BIOS, just a little bit, uh, updating the latest, latest, latest BIOS, we got the freaking 8150, the 8 core working on the AM3, which was the whole point of the video. Because uh, I want to do some extreme overclocking. I think this motherboard is capable of doing some crazy stuff with this uh, 8150. I've done an 8350 before. I was able to get the like 5.5 gigahertz in my freezer. So if I put this outside in minus 40 weather, we're going to see, I I'm hoping, maybe... Something like six gigahertz at minus forty, because the, like as long as you keep temperatures under control, these CPUs tend to, uh, to clock like crazy high. Not that that you know makes the performance any better. I actually took this phenom out of this motherboard, and it's a four core, and uh, I want to show you in a second the performance difference. So we're running a Cinebench run. We got this thing up to four point eight gigahertz today on air using a Noctua, a little mini. 9 series cooler and uh, we got temperatures in the area of 72 degrees getting pretty high there but uh, we got 50, 560 Cinebench score that's for eight, 8 cores that's not so great uh, you know why because watch watch this okay there we go I got me over here working on the phenom okay and I overclocked it to just 4 gigahertz or something 3.9 gigahertz because uh, you know, I just wasn't having it at the time. And we're going to see here the Cinebench score is 400. It's like 396. So to adding double the cores, I know that they're like kind of splitting cores and doing some weird trickery in the 8-core processor versus the, the Phenom. But you're only gaining like, you know, half, 50% uh, more performance, if that, uh, when you have 100% more cores. So it really goes to show that uh, if you're playing video games I think the Phenom with its four cores is going to perform similarly to this thing because uh, video games like single threaded performance above a bunch of cores and uh, when you run video games I think it's going to like the better IPC on the four you know cores that this thing offers with no hyper threading or anything than the worse IPC per core on this thing so that's why I think a lot of people at the time when the 8150 launched they just you know weren't seeing much performance gains in games over this and it wasn't until like the pile driver series came out which was way too late like it, it didn't even touch anything Intel had to, out at the time that you saw you know some much needed IPC improvements but by then it was too late and then it, you know it took them a long time to, to fix all these problems and get to Ryzen but you know Thank our lucky stars we're at the horizon. So I know this is supposed to be a short video and it's probably turned out to be way too long. But, uh, you know, in the end we did uh, kind of do get, get some stuff accomplished. I proved that the AM3 uh, motherboards, you know, some of them, the high end, were able to be flashed to a BIOS that would support AM3+. Plus. I did that on here. It did not work before. It does work now with a BIOS update. As well as if anyone has a 9560, like the pile driver, uh, you know, the, the, the last, the best, the 5 gigahertz version of this chip, I would love, I might even pay for it or pay for shipping or something if you're not using it uh, to, to get one of those because I would love to put it on. This is a very, very good motherboard and I'd love to do the outside negative 40 overclock with one of these older chips that's like, re like in, and just kind of go for straight up clock speed. So look forward to seeing uh, some extreme overclocking with this 8150, maybe C6 gigahertz. I'm always looking for 6 gigahertz on one of these damn chips. And uh, I think the record I have right now is I did 5.5 on an 8350 in my freezer. I wish I still had that processor, but I don't. And I did 5.6 on the uh, the Intel uh, X or 299, the 7740X. So we're always having fun overclocking stuff. Glad to come along with the journey. Uh, look forward to some more video card reviews and stuff. I've got like a hundred of those lined up. Here's a R9 270 that I'm going to be uh, reviewing at some point. I've got a 68, so I put it in a PC. I've got a budget PC coming up with this very processor, which should be pretty fun. I want to see uh, what, you know, if, if you really wanted to go super budget, it should be around $200 to hit up this computer I'm going to make. And I'm thinking it'll do like PUBG and some AAA titles and stuff half decently. So we'll look forward to that. But thanks very much for watching my videos. I'm Timmy Joe, but uh, sorry, impromptu video, kind of a thing. Just wanted to see if I could get this 8150 working on this motherboard, and I did. 
and I'm happy about it. And with some extreme cooling, I think this might go very, very far. So we'll see you guys in the future videos. I'm teaching Jimmy Joe. See you guys later. Ah!